10 Tips to Overcome Public Speaking In the minds of otherwise capable and optimistic people, the words public speaking trigger fear and anxiety. Does talking in front of a group evoke anxiety, make you sweat, and make your heart pound? The fear of public speaking is likely to make you glossophobic. Glossophobic is one of the most common of fears. Stepping up to the podium not only places you as authority in your industry field, but also offers simple referrals and increased opportunities for sales. Let's see how you can help yourself overcome the fear of public speaking. Number 1. Rehearse While this seems like a no-brainer, a lot of people actually think they can wing it before their big speech. As a result, their speeches and presentations end up with many awkward silences and transitions while building up unnecessary tension for themselves. The trick to rehearsing is not to memorize it word for word in such a way that you are unable to flow or respond to sudden situations, such as asking an audience questions that derail your thought train. Try to rehearse while standing up. Gesticulate as you're talking to an actual audience. Practice pausing when telling a story in crucial segments of your voice, such as after posing a rhetorical question or for dramatic silences. The closer you get to anchoring yourself to an optimal delivery state, the more your preparation can prepare you for your actual speech. Number 2. You have done it before The simplest of tricks is to remind yourself that you talk to beloved ones, bosses, acquaintances, neighbors, etc. every day in the form of public speaking, and you do it very well, so you're good at speaking. The only difference is that there could be more people now, and they might all be strangers. Typically, we feel that when addressing big meetings, we have to communicate in a particular way and that this is part of the cause of the anxiety that so many questions go through your mind. How do I talk? Should my voice be high, medium or low? Can everyone hear me? Do I sound authentic? Can people understand what I'm saying? Is my delivery effective? Number 3. While you're speaking, make eye contact. Speaking to people as a group is one of the greatest mistakes we make. We search the room trying to look at everyone and end up communicating with nobody at once. In fact, as an individual, each person in the room is listening to you. And then communicating to them as individuals is the best way to communicate with your audience. How? By having sustained eye contact with one person per thought. By concentrating on one individual at a time, you may make every person in the room feel like you're only talking to them. It's complicated. You are used to room scanning. At first, making direct eye contact may feel awkward, yet it will also make you less nervous when you practice it more. Holding a series of one-on-one -on -one meetings is much better than listening to all at once. Number 4. It's about your audience. The first question is what the audience will benefit from listening to your speech and or what the audience will lose by not listening to your speech, meaning the concept of enjoyment and pain. The second question relates to the relevance to an audience. The better the listening you build, the more you connect the dots and make it more meaningful to them. To the point that the audience feels like they are having an intimate conversation with the speaker, it is just about customizing the performance. Before your speech, if you do not have access to your audience, what you should do is put yourself in your audience's shoes and generate the top 10 questions that they will have about the subject you are going to discuss. Number 5. Try shorter speeches first. Overcoming your fear of public speaking, as with everything else, is a phase. It's a good idea to start small as a part of the process. You wouldn't jump automatically to the most advanced class if you were learning math for the first time. Instead, you'd start with an introductory course with the basics that started you off. Then, to practice with, you'd be given some short, simpler exercises. Well, speaking publicly is no different. Your first public speech shouldn't be a long one if you are not used to speaking publicly. Try a shorter speech instead, which will get you used to speaking in public. For beginners, a 1-3 to three minute speech is a great length. For instance, try an introductory speech, like one where you introduce another speaker, a show, a movie, or something else. You're not going to be expected to talk for long, and you're not going to be the main attraction. Number 6. Choose a familiar location In a familiar place, you'll feel more comfortable giving your speech. If you give a business representation, use the facilities of your own company if you can, instead of going to a client company. You already understand what the facility is like in a familiar place. You know how many people can sit in a room. You have an idea of whether it's hot or cold in the room and what the lighting is like. Such variables will render public speaking less stressful. But don't worry if you can't offer your presentation in a familiar place. Do try to check the position in advance to wield the anxiety if you can. Number 7. Open Body Language 
If you can, get away from the podium or table or from any other physical object. Go closer and be comfortable standing in the open with your crowd. Even if it's your habit, don't hide your hands in your pockets and play with the contents or cross your arms. Let your hands convey your points in a natural, fluid way and also get used to resting them on your side, even if you don't know what to do with your limbs. All of these will make you feel more insecure than ever before. But as a speaker and fellow human being, weakness is a demonstration of your honesty and fallibility. The incredible truth here is that the more you accept your anxiety, the more you are embraced by your audiences, so they see you as calm and unlikable. Truly, they want you to succeed. Number 8. Smile There is nothing quite like hearing a person talk with a frowning and doleful expression. Naturally, as a viewer, you think of reasons why he is like that. Is he sad that he's here? Isn't he interested in the subject? Is he being forced to talk about the subject? He went through a tough time. Why do I care about it? Can I give the benefit of the doubt to him and why? And these questions pass around your audience's head. You're wondering why they seem distracted and listless. Many speakers forget that their actual smiles are their most prepared prop because it is disarming and soothing for the audience. The most understated and underemphasized point of speaking is undoubtedly laughing. Most of us are worried while getting our points across that we fail to be there for our audience at the moment. Number 9. Use positive self-talk If you tend to be hard on yourself by thinking about everything that could possibly go wrong during your speech, you could add to your own public speaking anxiety. If this is you, make a deliberate effort to modify your patterns of thought. One way to start attacking pessimistic thought is by recognizing that it is impossible that any of the horrible things you expect will happen. Next, recognize that it is likely to be something insignificant that no one can know, even though something goes wrong. Lastly, imagine yourself having successfully delivered your speech. You can also imagine being thanked by your colleagues, friends, or family members. Tell yourself firmly, I'll do well with this speech. If you find yourself falling back into negative self-talk, repeat this phrase as often as possible. Number 10. Remember to breathe Surprisingly, not breathing properly is one of the greatest challenges to successfully delivering a speech. If you are a little anxious, it's easy to speed up your speech and forget to breathe. Unfortunately, when you're making a public speech, not breathing properly can create a vicious loop. Not only does it make you nervous by not breathing properly, it impacts the way your voice sounds to your listeners and makes you sound less assured. So, focus on strategic pauses in your speech that offer you a breathtaking transition.